I did not want to be in an office. I wanted to be outside all the time. I am most influenced by people that know how to get things done. I was and am very impatient with people that simply pontificate. I want to know the people, and I want to be one of the people that know how to do things. One thing that I'm really proud of is that change is hard, and we did it. And I see a lot of my friends that are still in the law that aren't happy there, but they just didn't make the change. I grew up outside of Philadelphia in the beautiful suburbs. I went to school at the University of Vermont for college, and that's when I fell in love with Vermont. I haven't been back to Philadelphia since, except to see my family on the occasional holiday visits. After law school, I went to Boston, and I practiced in um, a, a very nice firm. It was a boutique law firm. Three years later, I looked around at all these wonderfully successful people that were in their 60s, um, late 50s perhaps, and I decided very quickly that I did not want to spend the best part of my life getting to where they were. And even though it was a very good firm and I made a very nice salary, I wanted to move on. I'm looking for uniformity, nothing too big, nothing too small. The big ones don't cook well, and the small ones you can't make cheese with. The cheese is called, we call it Tarantes, and it's from our own cows, Jersey cows, raw milk, so it's about as unadulterated a product as you can find. My degree is in environmental studies and I worked as a subcontractor for the Environmental Protection Agency doing the title work behind um, the properties. I remember my FedEx deadline was 11.30. I had a daisy wheel printer that never worked. I could never figure out my like draconian computer. We found that we were coming back to places like this on the weekends every single weekend. And so that has to tell you something. And we began to look for a place and we were very fortunate to find this place. We only really looked at one place and this was it. I went and got a, yet one more uh, degree. But dairy farming, is, it's one of those careers where you can read all about it in a book, but until you actually get down there and milk a cow, you, won't, you don't really know. And as John always says, experience manifests itself as intelligence <laughs> a lot of times. My career was very defined. I was very specific. So all of a sudden, you're working your way out of that. You wonder what you've given up and why and what you're getting into and why. I would wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning in cold sweats and go, what the hell am I doing? Because I didn't know how to make cheese. I didn't know how we were going to pull this off. That was scary. I took off in our little green car with a bunch of cheeses in the back seat driving around. Everybody wanted the cheese. That was great. But at the end of the week, I said, wow, wonderful. I, I sold 10 cheeses. I make eight cheeses every other day. So that, How good is that, yeah, right? that <laughs> No, everybody thought we were nuts. <laughs> and especially the French guys. I mean, they, they figured, I mean, what are a bunch of Americans that never made cheese before? How are they going to pull that off? Yeah, but nobody tried to talk us out of it, though. You know, they, they were, just knew we wouldn't uh, succeed. Yeah, they just said, oh, you're American. Last year, we won um, first place in the farmstead cheese category at the American Cheese Society. It's a yearly contest where cheesemakers from all over the United States enter. And I guess it feels good. We just went to that conference, and there's a uh, very good cheesemaker. He's now working on a new cheese, and he brings it to us and says, you try my cheese. And tell me what you think. So it makes you feel really good. You want a really sick analogy, motorcycle driving is the same way. If you're somebody who rides a motocross bike really well, it's always adjustments, 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 adjustments. You can't carry a constant speed. You're adjusting to the problems you see as you get to them. And the really good guys, it makes it look really easy. And the other guys, they crash. 
think when you go off and you do something, you go into the unknown and you don't know if you're going to be successful. I'm sure there are lots of people out there that weren't successful but could still say, I'm really glad I did it. And when people ask me, I say, well, you know, what are you going to think five years down the road? Are you going to be kicking yourself? Like, I really wish I had done that.